And in our top business story, the month-to-month -month consumer goods prices in Abu Dhabi went up 1.1% in June on rising housing and utility costs, according to data issued by the Statistics Center Abu Dhabi. The consumer price index increased 1.1% month-on-month in June and rose 4.95% on year-on-year basis. An increase in prices during June, when compared to the previous month, was seen in housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels, with a 2% increase, while food and beverages registered a 1.2% increase in June. Also in June, housing and utilities category increased by 2% month-on-month basis and surged 6.7% on year-on-year basis. The housing and utilities combined with the food category constitute nearly 55% of a household budget. According to CPI, rents have been increasing since September 2013, but the most recent trends in the market indicate that sales prices and rents are declining. The food and beverages category increased by 1.2% month-to-month in May and 2.54% year-on-year. In 2015, CPI annual average is expected to increase by around 4.5% year-on-year. In June, the International Monetary Fund forecast the UAE inflation to reach 3.8% on average in 2015. More than 200 expats have registered their wills with a new common law probate system launched in May. The numbers were announced on Sunday by the Dubai International Financial Center, DIFC, which has created the Wills and Probate Registry under which non-Muslim expats can, for the first time in the Middle East, register English-language wills under an internationally recognized law, similar to that in the UK, Singapore and Malaysia. The DIFC claimed this week that more than 200 people have registered wills under the new system to date. Until May, expats' wills were subject to or were subject to Sharia law, under which Sharia shares and inheritance are predetermined. The new registry means expats' last will and testament no longer has to be subject to Sharia-based decisions, and their Dubai-based assets will be transferred according to their wishes upon death. What is more, any disputes over the wills registered will be heard in the internationally recognized DIFC courts, giving further certainty to exp expats. The cost of registering a single will is 10,000 dirhams, meaning the new scheme has already generated over 2 million dirhams in revenue in just two months. The DIFC reported that the registrants to date represent a wide cross-section of Dubai's culturally diverse expat population. Out of the first 200, 125 were from Europe, 44 were Indian or of Indian origin, and 5 are from Middle Eastern countries. The Middle East business landscape is quickly adopting the latest technologies to capture competitive advantages with a new report by SAP and the Economist Intelligence Unit indicating that organizations are observing benefits to their business performance by increasing the accessibility of information. According to local reports, Citing statistics from multinational management consulting firm McKinsey and Company, businesses that embrace digital transformation could see revenue increase by 30%. SAP MENA added that new technologies such as the cloud, big data, predictive analytics, and the Internet of Things are already reshaping a new reality, and companies will have two choices – either invest or face the risk of becoming irrelevant. This new digital economy in the Middle East is set to exceed $30 billion by 2018, following almost 30% growth this year, with the digital economy accounting for approximately $450 billion a year of the global GDP from traffic and trade flows. Adding to the digital economy's growth is the rise of the Internet of Things, which will see connected devices grow from an estimated 9 billion now to at least 50 billion in 2020, creating $14.4 trillion in total value, according to a recent report by SAP and Stevenson Strategies. 
The National Bank of Federa has released results for the first half of the year, recording a net profit of 303.6 million dirhams, compared to 239.5 million dirhams in the corresponding period of 2014, an increase of 26.7%. The operating profit of the bank was 390.5 million dirhams, which is a rise of 28.2%, while the net impairment losses were 86.9 million dirhams compared to 65.1 million dirhams in the corresponding period of 2014. Operating income of the bank experienced a growth of 26.0%, and net interest income grew by 21.9%. Also increasing, net fees and commission income rose by 39.2%, and foreign exchange and der derivatives income marked a growth of 26.1%. The bank's loans and advances of 18.4 billion dirhams were up by 12.8% from the end of 2014, and up by 24.5% from 30 June 2014, while customer deposits of 19.5 billion dirhams were up by 8.5% in the last six months and up by 17.0% for the full year. Strong capital adequacy and lending to stable resources ratios were maintained at 18.4% and 86.9% respectively, well ahead of central bank minimum requirements.